another video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you modders that are subscribed to me, or any modders that go and check out my channel anyway, or or like the one that that type in the uh, search bar how to use Arch HD will see this video and hopefully take some information from what I've uh, what I've shown you today. So. First of all, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you um, the first bit of here and how to use it. So first of all, so what I'm going to do is um, this is basically uh, changing the lights at the bottom. Yeah, so and then you can set LEDs and stuff like that. Uh, but first of all, what you got to do is because I am uh, because what you got to do is you've got to connect to console first before you can do anything or it will come up here and it will say you have to connect to console first and then if you're co you have to have Wi-Fi because what you have to do is you have to add it to your 360 um, neighborhood for you to use it or if you want to do it USB way then uh, you add it to HDD that way as well but I don't know well I do know how to do it, but I haven't done it because I know how to use uh RJ, I know how to use the neighborhood. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go through uh, the the top lines here. You don't need to know about all this lot. It's just uh, all this other stuff, other tools. It's just IP and stuff like that, and you can scan someone's IP and about credits. Scott. Skype details and stuff like that, and then if you ask questions or how, then they tell you. So all we're going to do is just focus on this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So first of all, uh, this you have to connect to your console as soon as you put RGHC on. You do not have to open it from neighborhood. You just have the fire folder, open it from here. I always find it easy to tap to uh, the little taskbar down here, so then you can open it straight away. So first of all, yeah, you you know that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, screenshot you basically you screenshot uh, your console, and then it comes as a picture. It takes a few seconds. There you go. That's taken, it even brings up here, then it brings it up, and then it brings up this here. There you go. So you're basically, people ask, how do you take screenshots of your Xbox? And I've said many times, all you need to do is just either go on to Neighbourhood, go on to Neighbourhood, go on to the Xbox thing, hang on. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Right, go on to this bit here, this is the one here. Go on to here, where all your consoles are. It takes a second to load up. I'm running so much at once. Okay, well, it's not working. So basically, um, there, there you go. So basically, all you need to do is just go. Uh, screen capture, and what it will do is it will just uh, capture your screen and stuff. I think, I think that's right anyway. But the easier way is to just screenshot this bit. Also, cold reboot, warm reboot, shut down, all from here. You but you have to connect to your console first. Then, uh, people, so info grabber. I know that it works, but I'm not going to because I'm in a lobby full of other people, so I'm not going to list out their IPs and stuff like that, just so people can boot them offline. So yeah, basically, this one tells them that your ga their, their gamer tag tells you their gamer tag IP address, uh, their location of where they are. Some people have actually said that they don't live there, and I've just been like, yeah, right, okay. This one is on point, so you don't need to lie about it. Uh, recently logged, so basically the info grabber recently logged will take everything from the uh, info grabber and pull it into the recently logged folder. Or 
wherever the lines and stuff. Friends list doesn't work. Um, party doesn't work properly. Uh, ping, basically, that doesn't work. Uh, docs and tools, uh, just put in the leak source and stuff like that. And email. Then we're going on to game tools, so this is the recoveries and stuff like that, free menus, make sure that you have the bypass thing in your plugins um, first before you can actually get the bypass up or if you want the uh, plane and the garage bypass then you have to get a modded TU for your uh, for GTA also teleport uh, doesn't work properly uh, import, save the game. Should work. Uh, okay, so garage tool. Uh, everything in your ga in your garage, such as your car, oh, well, obviously your cars in your garage, you can all mod them from here. But you have to actually have all your ga your garages. I don't have any garages. I don't even have a house on here. There's no point in me having a house, because then I can just teleport stuff, there's no point in me having this garage bypass, but it's good to show off uh, your cars and stuff like that. So what you need to do now, uh, now I'm going on to Black Ops 2, and what you do is you force host. So some people have asked me, how do you get the menu up for uh, if you're in an online session? So what you do is, you have to force host uh, so before you actually get into the session um, so start force host yeah and then get into a session and then you are host of that session automatically and then your menu whatever menu you use whatever it, whatever the uh, controls are to open it then you just do that also, gamertag spoofer, you can change your gamertag when you're on the, um, when you're in the game, or like on the pre-game lobby, so you can troll people with it and stuff like that. You can also live update, uh, and, uh, flash their IP, like, on, on your, on your, uh, thing, or current time, or whatever, uh, in-game. Or on the GT lobby uh, looping, so get a gamer tag and just like <laughs> put their put this as their gamer tag, uh, so other people can see. So it's funny, so then they think that they're a modder as well. Also, uh, icons. Uh, basically, you can uh, change their gamer tags to. Uh, whatever this is, the right animal and stuff like that, which is so funny. I've tried it, I've done it, and it's, it, it's a good trial, which I should do it for my next video, but at the moment I can't get seem to get GTA working, so I, I'm basically stuffed at the moment. Uh, not GTA, Black Ops 2, what am I saying? Anyway, uh, going on to multiplayer options, recovery options, so set a random prestige wins or or you could just do a quick recovery and it'll take you to prestige master uh unlock all will take you to diamond camo uh max press max league max league play stats will take you to um so you have max league so you have be in league one or maxed level one and stuff like that and whatever <clears throat> ultimate class items so that means that you can have literally every item uh, like every set item uh, without going up to 10 so then you can do double like um, the add-ons as well uh, randomized medals don't know what that is um, not really sure never tried it uh, max stats, load stats, set stats, this is basically for this. Going on to zombies, you can chain max rank, so that means that you can uh, just do anything. You can 
Max Rank, obviously, it's just it's just Max Rank in there. And then a zone editor. Which is uh basically changing what it says on uh when you uh try and like so, uh go for a game or something or when you're in a pre game lobby. Black Ops Free uh you can also have off hose uh you can also recover do recoveries like I did in my last video in my Black Ops Free video. I used this tool uh, and then it took me to black uh took me to Prestige Master. Also you can just uh set your stats by doing this as well. Uh, host options, there is none because you can't get host. Okay, you cannot be, well you can be a host, but you can't get a menu for Black Ops 3, so there won't be any host options. Off host options, yeah, if you're not host, then you can do wall hack, wall run, no recoil, tiny crosshair, you can all read, yeah, fine. Uh, turn on the UAV, but that'll be all in the menu if you have an off host menu in your server. MW3, don't really play this, but it just looks like it's the same as uh, Black Ops 2 game attack spoofer. Uh, but yeah, basically. Going on to console tools, um, KV checker, there you go. I've got all my KVs uh, all unbanned and stuff. So uh, hit me up for KVs if you want, I don't really mind. Uh, KV details, doesn't matter about that. Um, plugins, modules. Uh, you can change your plugins, uh, change your INI. So you can change your INI from one you've got to a fresh INI and then send it to console from there. Messages, uh, basically, you can send messages to your Xbox from your computer and that's how people go onto legit lists and show how proof of how they're legit and stuff like that is by bringing these up messages boxes and, and saying their prices and how much and what they're, how they're legit and stuff like that so yeah that's basically all for that uh, show notifications uh, basically at the top right hand, uh, right hand corner it will come up with uh, like I would put John Pike and then the date of what the date is and then legit list or get on the legit list and stuff like that okay join party uh, CPU key spoofer uh, so basically you type in their game attack and then you press join party and then it will just automatically join the party which I'm not sure if it, it like does it with an uh, invite only party but it's good to try out, if not, then they won't do it. Skype, you can connect to Skype. I'm not going to connect to Skype because um, I'm not logged in on my actual computer. So uh, you can spam people. Uh, you can send, oh, what doing? you can send uh, players, uh, people on your friends list the same message at, at once I think I think that's all you need to know about this I guess so basically we've just been over home how to change that people how to change that game mode or info grabber and stuff like that yeah uh, game tools recovery options for uh, Black Ops 2 and GTA and, and other tools as well. And this is just the details of how to get in contact with the person, donate or whatever to whoever made it. www.psychocoding.net. Uh, total users are 1,451, so there must be a lot of people. And if you don't want this up, then you can just close it like that. And then open it like that. I hope all you mothers got something out of this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. If you're not a mother and still enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Comment, 